Monday at 9 on CH. <laughs> Our hosts visit Dr. Scott Levine, chiropractor to the rock stars, as he demonstrates a serious piece of technology, and Orlando finds out how messed up he really is. We have hundreds of thousands of nerves communicating in our body, and they all start from the spine. Dr. Scott, you're a chiropractor and you look at spines every day. Now what, do, what does the nervous system and the spine have to do with strength? Well, the nervous system communicates with the actual all the muscles in the body. So if the nervous system isn't functioning at its highest level, it's actually not going to be able to communicate and therefore muscles will come off weak because of that. Look. Now, Doc, I probably should have asked you this before stepping onto the scale, but what, what are we doing here? I'm right now assessing your posture because the balance of your spine could affect the nerves. Okay. So right now, if you look down, what do you see? 133 over here and 113.5 over here. Right, so you have 20 pounds greater pressure going down on the right side. Wow. I'm going to show you what it looks like to be you from behind. Okay. Uh, you have a one and a half inch lean to the right. Your, your shoulders, your scapula, and your pelvis are all dropping on the right side. So no matter what, that's going to influence the balance and strength of your muscles. Yeah. Okay. I've got to find out why next. So okay. let's take a look. Let me just get you to push this leg out. Resist me. Okay, so that's a little bit weak. Push that leg out. And you see how that locks? That's strong. So we know that something's going on with the right leg. Yeah. Now I'm going to check your shoulders okay. just to see. Let me just check this. Push straight up. Very strong. And push this up. And it gives a little bit. So we have something going on with a weakness in your right leg right now and your right shoulder. Nice. So now let's see how, how the nerves are communicating with the muscles along the spine. Just look straight ahead. Okay. And, and this, this would affect if we're working out or doing any sort of... Uh, let's say vigorous workout or some sort of exertion? Absolutely, because yeah. right. if the nerves aren't communicating properly, then the muscles won't be working properly. And if there's a weakness, you will never be able to get stronger than your weakest muscle. So, so how do we correct some of these imbalances that we're, that we're seeing? Well, if an area isn't communicating with the nerve properly, and we're now right now looking at the spine, then as a chiropractor, I would adjust that area of the spine. Okay. Well, we would actually give um, Orlando specific exercises, and in this case, we'd be tra trying to strengthen his imbalance, his weaker side. And how we do that, for Orlando, I'd start giving him one-legged type things, like let's say lunges. Mm -hmm. Start with your weaker side. We know that's your right side right now. Mm -hmm. And then we, you, let's say you can only get seven reps with the weight, wow. then I'd want you to only do seven reps with the left side, your stronger side. And this way, we'd start moving towards yeah. a balanced right. body. Okay. So yeah. this is your symmetry. So that's the most important scan. You're rotated to the left in the lower lower leg, followed by a rotation to the low back and the right, followed by the rest of the body rotated to the left. T4, for instance, is 370%, so it's way too far. So now we have to start getting you aligned. Any comments, Orlando? Whew. Seems like I got my work cut out, man. This is... um. This is tough. <laughs> I feel messed up right now, man. I mean... Ooh. Well, there is a solution. That's the best part. Well, well, if there's a light at the end of the tunnel, then let's, let's get at it. Man. People generally look at me and say, you look healthy, you look pretty fit, like you're in good shape. So you make the same mistake as most people do, that they equate health with a lack of symptoms. Yeah. And that's why we do this type of testing, because not everyone is healthy that has no symptoms. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad I'm here, man, because <laughs> I got some work to do. Uh, starts with the testing, obviously. Right. right to be able a to good assessment. With a, a solid assessment to understand kind of where the imbalances are. And once you've done that, then you got to sit down and you got to work out a game plan. And you could only do that with someone who's qualified to be able to guide you through that process. So, well, luckily, usually this is in confidentiality. Yeah. Most people don't know how messed up you are. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> We know. We know. We know. <laughs> <laughs>